Hey what's up guys, my name is Arix and welcome to the world of Lost Ark. Arcasia awaits, a world full of mysteries, monsters, dungeons, demons, epic adventures, open oceans and even proving grounds to challenge your fellow adventurers. And therein lies the reason behind this video. Today we're talking PvP or player versus player. Essentially when you want to break from saving the land of Arcasia from demons and instead want to test your skills against other players, then Lost Ark has an array of PvP offerings to keep you busy. So let's dive in. I also want to give a quick shout out to Amazon for very kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget if you want to find out more about Lost Ark you can also click the link in the description box down below. So where do we begin? Well first things first, PvP isn't something you'll be doing from the very beginning of the game. I mean first you'll need to make a character, level up a bit, unlock some skills, get a feel for your tripod system and really just get a better understanding of how your chosen class plays. During these early stages, if you want to, you can have friendly duels with other players or your friends whilst out and about, giving you a very early taste of PvP, but in terms of actual structured PvP matches in arenas and the ability to earn ranks and rewards, that comes later. Level 26 to be precise. When you hit level 26, this is the first time you'll be able to take part in actual PvP matches, not just duels with your buddies. In order to unlock this, when you reach Lutera Castle, you'll be able to complete a questline, and as part of the rebuilding Lutera questline, you'll be sent to the Proving Grounds. The NPC will give you a rundown on the different modes, and then following this, you'll be able to access the various PvP modes from the Bounty Board. It's also worth noting that each major city has its own Bounty Board, so PvP is not tied exclusively to Lutera Castle. You can do it from a variety of locations, including your minimap. But what exactly are these modes? Well, much like you expect from any good PvP setup, you have normals, competitive matches and even custom games if you want to practice against friends and just get a feel for things. You will need to begin by doing normal PvP matches in order to unlock ranked, so use this as an opportunity to get familiar with the modes, test different setups and learn what works best for you. Once ranked matches are unlocked, you can then begin your competitive quest. In rank matches, you're placed into one of seven different leagues, with Grandmaster being the highest. When you win your matches, you gain points, and when you lose matches, you lose points, so it's possible to go both up and down ranks. There are three main PvP modes for you to experience. These are Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, and Team Elimination. Team Deathmatch is a 3v3 setup. There is a set time limit, and you battle it out in a small arena. When you die, you can respawn, so the focus here is simply to rack up the most kills possible as a team. You can also duo queue for this mode if you want to dive in with a friend. Your second option is Deathmatch. This is a free-for-all game type with six players all battling at once. Much like TDM, you can respawn after death, so again, the primary focus here is just to get as many kills as possible. This mode also has burst windows and orbs for you to collect to aid you in battle. Then finally, you have Team Elimination, another 3v3 mode, only this time matches play out as a series of 1v1s. You choose who fights first on your team, then whoever wins continues on to fight the next enemy until they either win or die and your next teammate subs in. The goal here is simply to take out the opposing enemy team and again this mode supports duo queue as well. Outside of these three core modes, competitive PvP also offers seasonal rewards. These can be titles, auras, unique cosmetics, and even effects that you can use to display your prowess to the whole of Arcasia. And there's even a ranking board that you can check out to see where you place in the world too. Now when it comes to PvP in Lost Ark, all the modes offer a completely level playing field, with matches being equalised. In other words, there's nothing that you can bring into the modes to give you a competitive advantage over other players. The moment you start, whether you go in at level 26, level 50, or 60, all players receive the same amount of attribute points to spend on 6 skills and a range of different stats that work for different classes. The freedom to spend points and tweak skills is also a great opportunity to just get a feel for what your class can do. Keep in mind that the tripod system in Lost Ark gives you ways to augment your skills and abilities. This is something you will experience as you level up, but also keep in mind some skills and tripods are better suited for PvE, meanwhile others are better suited for PvP. Fortunately, when accessing the Proving Grounds, you have access to the Book of Coordination. This allows you to make different presets of skills and setups, so that when you load into your chosen game mode, you can very easily pick your book with your relevant setup and dive right into the action, making the whole process very smooth. Something else worth noting is that while this is obviously a PvP mode, once you're level 60, you can also earn Coins of Courage, which can later be exchanged for PvE items such as cosmetic rewards or even high-level crafting gear. So essentially, 
playing PvP matches can later feed back into your PvE experience, making it a really nice complement to your adventure. But as you should now begin to see, Lost Ark has a ton of stuff for you to experience, and for those of you that like to be a little bit more competitive, PvP is a fantastic way for you to scratch that itch. Different modes, a balanced playing field that welcomes all skill levels, ranked matches if you want to really see what you can do, and badass rewards to earn. So make sure you give it a try when you reach Lutera Castle. So there you have it, that's a look at PvP in Lost Ark. Again, don't forget if you want more details, you can click the link in the description box down below, and of course, keep it locked for plenty more. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arix Gaming Discord.